Sea of Thieves Season 9 is nearly here, and we are sailing into port with powerful new features, a treasure trove of updates and improvements, and some shiny new rewards. Changes have come to the Forts of Fortune. The Chest of Fortune can now be found amongst the other treasures safely locked within the Fort Vault. These chests will not only reward you with large amounts of gold, but each chest cashed in will count towards new commendations that once unlocked will earn you items from the Fates of Fortune ship set, with more items from the set to be unlocked in future seasons. Reaper and Reaper's Bounty Chests have had an update too. Not only will cashing them in unlock weapons from the Fates of Fortune cosmetic set, but their telltale beacons will now always be active, regardless of whether they've been picked up or not. So everyone will know where you're scurrying off to. We've also rebalanced the difficulty of several world events. From Forts of Fortune to Ashen Lords, the difficulty of the emergent world events you engage in will now be tailored to your crew size. And emergent ghost ship battles are back, now expertly tuned and minus the giant talking head in the sky. We've also upped the chances of finding shipwrecks, being shrouded in dense fog as you sail across the sea. And encountering the Megalodon and cracking on your adventures. So the world of Sea of Thieves will feel more alive and dynamic than ever before. And Pirate Legends now have new voyages to embark on. You can set off on the hunt, battling fiendish skellies to unearth their accursed loot. Or go on an explosive adventure to dig up some volatile valuables. You can even follow the bearing of a special Athena's Fortune Compass to acquire the mysterious Skull of Destiny. This special skull can manifest the various flames of fate and be used as a ritual skull, which will make starting the fearsome Fort of the Damned much easier. These shorter and more focused Pirate Legend voyages are bought with doubloons, so blow the dust off your stash and head out on the waves. And with the launch of Season 9, there's another 100 levels of stunning rewards to unlock, including the prosperous privateer clothing set and accessories, some unique sweet treats, and Gilded Age items for your ship and pirate. Pirate Legends can also earn the legendary Bone Hunter jacket and spyglass. And it's time to grab a grog and cast off with new Emissary Rewards, where you can unlock trading company-themed fishing rods and tankers. There's also a brand new Plunder Pass, available as an optional purchase, where you can earn some dazzling premium items, including the Sting Tide ship set and variations of the Sting Tide costume. And over in the Pirate Emporium, We've got the Sea Serpent ship set, weapon set, and costume. You can also grab the Lodestar ship's crest, a gleaming gold curse Barbary. And for pirates of a more retiring, mysterious nature, there's the Enigmatic Emote Bundle. And you can grab the Hearing Things Emote for free. But that's not all. There are even more improvements this season. When a ship is scuttled in the Devil's Shroud, any loot they had on board will now resurface in safer waters at the Shroud's edge. Nice try, runners. There's a new food radio menu, so you can be more specific about the meals you munch. Seagulls will now flock over loot that has surfaced from a recently sunk ship making it easier to spot. And when you harpoon loot, you can now easily drop it on board your ship. New bait crates will appear emergently on the islands of the Sea of Thieves, 
Or you can buy them from the Hunter's Call or the Merchant Alliance. And when you're using your fishing rod, you can now access a shortcut to the bait radial menu. Mermaid statues have been rebalanced to be easier to destroy and to increase the number of gems earned. You might even bag yourself a jackpot! You can equip flags at the shipwright on outposts, so no more scurrying up the mast to show off your cherished colours. Captains can now choose from an expanded range of captains' voyages. The events of their session will be recorded in their logbook. And they can sell their hunter's call items to the sovereigns. And a new family member has answered the call and filled the empty position at Stephen's spoils. There's all this and more to discover, so get ready for smoother sailing and the refreshing breeze of change blowing in across the water in Sea of Thieves Season 9. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you just saw and want to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news, then hit subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.